all right guys welcome to this video and um, in this session uh, we're going to look at the learning process right and that has to do with exploration and exploitation so are you an explorer or are you are you an exploiter right so th this is the learning process of reinforcement learning so we'll look at um, the differences between these two learning processes and how, why and how they are important and how they are used in reinforcement learning. And so we're going to begin with exploration. So what is exploration, right? So let's just give an example uh, in real life, right? For example, for me, I'm from Africa and I'm presently living in China, right? So just live in Africa and, and traveling to China, I've explored a lot, right? There's a lot that I've learned here, just like uh, now we're talking about learning, right? There's a lot that I've learned that I'm using in my life now, right? Because I went over to explore. And I've, I've, been, to, I've been to other countries and I've learned also, but I haven't lived as long as I've lived in China, so I can speak for that. And so I've learned a lot in China and I've learned their culture, their language and the way of life. So a lot has changed from me getting this information, which is, we can say it's exploration in real life and machine learning systems, reinforcement learning, they do the same thing, right? So it's a way we can uh, define exploration as a way to discover new information about our environment. So the example I given, we are living in a world and for you to get new information, maybe you can watch movies or videos and on YouTube, how people talk about stuff. But when you travel around and then you see these places, then there's a different level of info, a different way that you assimilate the information. And then putting that in, 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 in terms of uh, reinforcement learning. So in reinforcement learning, the agent will try random actions and it's going to learn which actions are good so by exploration this means that you're not always going to make decision based on your knowledge you're just going to go somewhere random and see what is there and then if it's good or bad then you get information and knowledge about that right and exploitation right exploitation is kind of like just learning about your territory so for example if i just uh, stayed in my country for for the rest of my life all the information i know is about my country and i'm going to learn to survive around just my country right so for example i've traveled around the world now i've learned how to survive anywhere in the world right i've learned a new language i've learned to interact with people from diff so many different places and so now I can survive in different environments, right? Different countries. And if I just stayed in my country, maybe it's not certain. I will only be able to survive in my country because I only understand the system of my country, right? I haven't interacted with people who lived in other places to know how their, uh, you know, their, their, their systems work. And so we can say exploitation is like you only exploit your current environment. You don't go anywhere, you just stay in one place, right? So in terms of reinforcement learning, we say you only make good use of the environment in which you are to maximize your reward. You don't exploit to go anywhere else, right? So, and then, so in reinforcement learning, we want to balance these two right we want to balance exploitation and exploration if we get the balance of these two then we really have a really good policy right so you can think of it like if I, take for example i i i am in my country i exploited and i know everything there is to do to succeed there and then i go somewhere else i exploit it i know everything there is to succeed there combine these two and then you have someone who can survive everywhere, right? You can put it that way. And then let's go deeper into exploration to illustrate how this really works, right? How does it work? So we've already mentioned it's a way to discover new or more information. So we're using the example of 
day trading how do you discover a new strategy right so if you're if you if you want to achieve a new strategy you need to try different things right when you try different things which is exploration then you are going to discover what is best for you to do and you're going to discover new new kind of trading strategies so this is what exploration will kind of try to to achieve right and so let's uh take a look at our price our, our, our chart that we um previously showed you if this is the first video you're watching you can go back to the previous one and get some exploration but if you've already uh seen this chart uh then we are fine so let's say that this is this is your chat right so remember we we, we get values so if you are in this state so this green are, are states that you the best states that you can be it's the movement of the chat right and if you are in this state you have to make a decision to move here or here or here so you can go up or you can go in the middle or you can go down this is buy this is sell this is do nothing this is hold right so and that is the same for here buy sell hold so it goes the same uh, just to introduce the chart again and this is the price this is the time and then what we want to do is to learn a policy that will give us the best profit so we can make decis sequential decisions when we are here we can decide to hold 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 right we we'll just stay here so no you can't actually hold, hold, hold because here you can decide to hold when you hold you fail and then the next station is going to be here your next signal is going to be here you'll find yourself here and then here you're going to hold when you hold when you hold you will move here and then your next signal is going to tell you that you were wrong and then they'll take you here right so let's just take it that way and then so you can take a sequence of actions right so let's say our first sequence of actions is the first one we buy right so we buy then we move up and then we buy again right so the green is buy right we have green for buy white for uh hold and red for sell so we the 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 the, the little ball here means this is the decision we make so in the first stage the decision we make is to buy so we buy we move here we buy we move here we sell we move here we hold we move here we sell we move here so this is a perfect example right so if we want to explore our environment right exploration if we want to explore then we're going to try like all right if what if we were doing like random different decisions like here we take this decision here we take another decision explore means you take random different decisions very different from this one right let's say a sequence of second actions so you can see the first we sell right is very different from this the second we hold very different from this so you can see you can actually see that this sequence of actions are very different from this sequence of actions so you can see that here uh this is different from this this is different from this this different from this so all these actions are different from each other right so it's a comp it's an exploration because we're doing something completely different right so we are trying to explore our environment and then the set of third action is like we hold we sell so you can also see this sequence of actions this is completely different from this this is completely different from this remember in reinforcement learning for us to learn we have to go through a loop so we learn by going through that loop several times right so the first time we go through the loop we take these actions and we get informed the second time we go through the loop we take these actions so taking this different set of the actions that are very different this is exploration so uh, this is how I can explain it if you need any if you have any questions please you can drop uh, your questions uh, in the comments or you can ask me directly 
And so we have this sequence of actions. So let's look at what um, exploitation is. What is exploitation? Like we already explained, we're going to use our chat. Um, so we make good use of known information, right? So let's say uh, we, we first take a sequence of actions like we already saw the first sequence of actions. And then for us to exploit, let's say we haven't, we, we, we want to exploit what is in the neighborhood of these environments. So we're going to take actions that are a little different, you know? So we'll take actions that are a little different from this action, this sequence of actions. Remember in reinforcement learning, everything happens in a sequence, right? So we are going to take actions that are a little different from this, but not too different, right? You can see this action and this actions. What is the difference? The difference occurs just, uh, let's see, this is the same. This is the same. So the difference is here. Here, instead of selling, we hold. Right, so this is the only difference, which means we are exploiting. We want to try something a little, just a little different, right? And then we have a, a set of third actions where we can also try something a little different. So you can see the difference between this, this act sequence of actions and this sequence of, of actions is uh, somewhere here. This is the difference, right here and here. And the difference between this and the first set of actions is here, right? So we can see that this is, we are doing exploitation. There's no real big difference between a sequence of actions, uh, between these three different sequence of actions. Meanwhile, in exploration, there is a huge difference, right? So we can see that uh, there's a difference between exploration and exploitation and if you can do this too you can you can learn uh in an environment in a you can learn to explore your entire environment and come up with a good decision so usually this is a challenge in 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 real uh, uh setups and you have to find a better way to balance this too right so uh for example like we already explained you can use this chart to compare the difference between, uh, to look at the difference between exploitation and exploration. And so, yeah, we're going to stop here for this video. And